hello welcome back to another tutorial so in this one we are going to be making this letter hub so to start just start a new part file and go into your units and change it to millimeters and I always like changing my image quality and click OK and the first thing we are going to do is we are going to start with this round part and we are going to build everything from there so on your front plane, um, start a sketch. And I'm just going to move this to the side over here. And I'm just going to draw my circle. And the diameter of that circle is 108 right here. So we're going to add that 108. And try that again, 108 and click OK. And just go to your extrude boss and we are just extruding it forward so and it is going to be 64 right here so type in 64 and click ok so we have that first feature so again since our front plane is on the back face of this um, circle you can either click on that back face to draw your next sketch or you can select the front plane is the same thing and I'm just going to select the front plane sketch and number two and I'm just going to move it to the side over here and I'm just going to draw a line you can draw a midpoint line something over here starting at the origin point and just drawing it up and the line is going to be so we are trying to draw this rectangle feature the line is going to be 82 so this is going to be 82 so what you're going to do is just draw it out draw something and I know um, this is kind of in the way okay let me move it down right there so just draw something like this and make sure that everything is touching and good so make sure you have a horizontal and a vertical constraint on them if you don't have it so now we just need a dimension from here to here and if you look from the center point to the end is 174 so we're going to add that 174 and click OK so now we're just going to extrude it again we're extruding it to the front and from the back to the front it is 44 so we're going to select 44 and click OK so good we have those two features so the next one we can do is cut this um, this gap in in it so select this face and sketch number two I'm going to move it over here and this time I'm just going to draw a center rectangle something something just like that and I'm going to make the center of that rectangle and the origin point horizontal to each other so I can just move it over there and I will make this coincident with that edge and now we know from the edge to the back is 114 so this is 114 and we know this is 50 they actually give us two extra dimensions over here that we really don't need um, this is actually a superfluous dimension in where you have too much dimensions um, just to check that everything is right you can test and dimension this um, from this line to this edge and it's 16 and we can do the same thing up here and it's 16 so we are good so the next thing we're going to do is extrude cut and we extrude and cut down and we know the distance is 44 and it's telling us that from the back to the edge is 22 so that has to be 22 so 22 and click OK so we have that feature and the next thing we can add is our chamfer and just click on the chamfer click and the distance is 12 so we can change our dimension to 12 and click this edge and click that edge it is 12 by 45 so the 45 is um, default in SOLIDWORKS so we click those two those two top edge and click OK 
and the next thing we want to do is add our circle click on that face again sketch um, number two and I'm just going to move it somewhere over here add two circles over here make those two circles equal to each other and make their origin point horizontal to each other and also make the origin point horizontal to the origin the center point of those two circles horizontal to the um, origin point so we have that and add a dimension to our circle which is 22.2 um, .2. and then all we need now is our um, dimensions from the back edge to the center of the first circle is 35 I try that again my keyboard there you go my computer is a little bit slow so let me try that again there, there. come on just a second there you go 35 and click OK so from the back edge to the first one and from the from the center point to the center point of the second circle is 50 I'm not sure why this glitch is happening today it is 50 there you go five zero and click OK so our sketch is fully defined the next thing we need to do is just feature extrude cut um, you can set through through all so you extrude cut it all the way to the back and click OK and there's two more features we have to draw and the first one is we can draw our circle so let's do that first um, let's click on this face sketch circle number two and I'm just going to draw a circle up here and the circle so they have a limit tolerance where um, you have this the circle the diameter of the circle can be anywhere from 57.15 to 57.10 so what I always do is I will just find a, a number between those two so what I do is I just take those two numbers and you can type equation in SOLIDWORKS so you do 57.15 plus 57.10 and close parentheses divided by 2 so it will be the same way you enter a mass equation you have to enter it in a bracket and all that stuff and click OK so it gives us this number and we are just going to feature extrude cut um, true all and click OK good so the last feature we are going to draw is that top part so we're just going to click on this face sketch number two I'm just going to zoom in somewhere where I can see again let's draw a center rectangle just something like that and make sure and we know the uh, from the center point it is 32 since we made it a center rectangle we can just dimension this line 32 everything is symmetrical 32 and all we need to do is just add another dimension to this and you want to make sure it is sticking out so something like that is good and let's make it 116 so it's sticking out right like that so what we're going to do is feature extrude cut but this time you want to do flip side because because we have a closed sketch if you extrude cut it it's going to extrude cut it within the boundaries of that sketch but when you click the flip side to cut it's going to cut everything on the outside of that sketch and that's what we want and the distance is 10 so we're going to type in 10 in here and click OK as you can see it cut everything on the outside and that is how you make this part and we are done it's pretty easy and let me go to my symmetric view there you go and we are done thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye